Hi guys, it's Mrs. Melson. Okay, let's do the check your understanding on page 59. Okay, good to start quantifying things here. All right, some students purchased pumpkins for a carving contest. That sounds like fun. Before the contest began, they weighed the pumpkins. The weights in pounds are shown here, along with the history of the data. Okay, let's calculate the mean. All right, so all mean is, is average. So I gotta add them all up and divide by how many pumpkins there are. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. There's 23 pumpkins. So I kind of pre-wrote. So I'm just going to add all these up. 3.6 plus 4.1 plus 9.6 plus blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to add all those up and then divide by, how many did I say? 23. Okay. Stick that in your calculator. And we get um, 9 point something, 935 pounds okay so the mean is going to be denoted with an x a small x and a bar above it so that's the mean that's the average okay that's the arithmetic average okay add them up and divide by the total number so the average um pumpkin weight or the mean pumpkin weight is 9.934 or 935 pounds okay now for median Okay, my other measurement of center, because mean and median are both measurements of center, um, the median is in the middle. And we've been kind of working with median um, because that's usually the easier one to find, especially if you don't know all the data points. Okay, so in order to find median, I need to find the middle. Um, I could probably estimate it from the graph, but I have the data. So the first thing I got to do in order to find the middle of all that data is put that data in order. Ugh, I hate it when they don't give it to you in order. All right, this is going to take me a second to do. Okay, so I got 2.0, uh, I think there's another 2.8, um, let's see, 3.4, 3.6, I think there's a couple 4.0s, right? If there's a couple, write them down. Uh, 5.4, I think there's a couple 5.4s, right? Yep, a couple 5.4s, a um, couple 6.0s, right, and a 6.1, 6.1, and then I'm going to fold this up so we can see if you don't mind. And then, let's see, I think I got a 6.6, .6. I'm running out of room to write it all in one line. Um, I don't see any sevens or eights, so then I got a couple 9.6s, right? Uh, don't see any tens, got 11.0 and 11.9. Um, got a couple 12s, let's see, 12.4, 12.7, right? And then I got a 13. And it looks like a 14. And it looks like a 15. And don't see a 16, 17. Okay, and I think I just have those two big ones at the end. 31.0 and 33.0. Okay. Um, so to find the middle, how many are in here again? I had a sample size of 23. So let's see, if I do 11 in from each end, that's 22. So it's gonna be the 12th one in, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, or I can count from the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there is my median. So my median is 6.6 .6 pounds, okay? I could have also, taken the time and crossed them off, right? I could have crossed off a high end and a low one, a high and a low, a high and a low, a high and a low, until I got two, a low and a high and a low, until I got to the middle one, okay? But being able to count in is gonna be more useful later on especially when you're dealing with much larger data sets and you know, like on a histogram or something like that. So 
you know, the middle of 23, I'm going to count 11 in from both sides. So that's 22. And then the, the 12th one is, the 12th one is the median. Okay. So now my median is 6.6 .6 pounds. Okay. Um, while we're in here, while we've got everything in order, let's check it against our histogram just for the fun of it. So I should have six pumpkins between zero and five pounds, not including five pounds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I should have eight pumpkins between five and 10 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Uh, six pumpkins between 10 and 15 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one pumpkin between 15 and 20 pounds. And then there's my two pumpkins between 30 and 35 pounds. Okay, just thought we'd check that. All right, so I found my median. Okay, so my mean is a little higher than my median. Okay. Oh, let me put my little X bar for mean, capital M for median. And the next question says, would you use the mean or the median to summarize the typical weight of the pumpkins in this contest? Okay, so if I'm gonna pick whether I'm gonna say the typical pumpkin weighs either 9.9 .9 pounds or 6.6 .6 pounds, all depends on the shape of the distribution. So I'm glad they gave us a histogram. The shape is skewed, it's skewed right. Um, little gap right there, could be, could be some potential outliers, single peak. Um, but it is right skewed. It is skewed. So whenever we have a skewed distribution, we're going to use the median for the typical value. Okay, in a skewed distribution, the median is a better indicator of the typical value in that distribution um, because median is not impacted by any kind of extreme values. Okay, the mean is, okay, the average is. We, we use mean when we have a symmetrical distribution. Okay, so if I was going to say what is the typical weight of a pumpkin that these um, students got, I would say the typical weight is 6.6 .6 pounds. Because again, medians are better to use with a skewed distribution and means are better to use with a symmetrical distribution. Simply because, excuse me, whoops, medians are not going to be impacted by an extreme value where the mean would be. Okay, so we don't want to use that in a skewed distribution. Okay, I hope that was helpful. See you next time.